How the f- did you come up with this name, Yeet? I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of just like some high. Sh- Before Yeet would rise to popularity in 2021 by dropping hit songs like Sorry About That and Stay Up. Before Yeet would see cosigns from the likes of Drake and Lil Yachty thanks to his viral track Get Busy. Before Yeet would have more than 70,000 subscribers on YouTube, nearly 71,000 followers on Twitter, and over 500,000 followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. California bred and Portland based rapper Yeet has always believed himself destined for a career in music. So it's no surprise that his sugary, auto tune melodies, distinctive vocals, and wild production choices have allowed him to flourish over the past few years. After dropping two albums in 2021, not to mention a truly astonishing number of singles, Yeet is finally seeing the type of acknowledgement that he has been longing for. Whether it's Drake or Lil Yachty, ask anyone in the know and they'll tell you that Yeet is up next. But where did he come from and how did he come up with that strange name? Think you know the answer? Then prove how big of a fan of Yeet's are by leaving a comment down below and we'll get into it later on in this video. As for the rest of you, stay tuned for Before They Were Famous. Yeet was born Noah Oliver Smith on February 26, 2000 in the city of Irvine, California. Hailing from a father of Mexican descent and a Romanian mother, Noah would move to Portland, Oregon as a teenager where he would attend Lake Ridge High School. Really, I was born here, like in LA, not here. Okay, but okay. I was born in Irvine and then I grew up like uh, in, by Fullerton. Okay. I spent like 13, 14 years there and then I moved to uh, Portland. Oregon? Did, yeah, Portland, Oregon. I did like high school. There. As a kid, Noah would try his hand at both basketball and soccer, but quickly discovered that athletics were never really meant to be his calling. After that, he got a little sidetracked when he began experimenting with drugs like acid and weed. It's different when you're like a kid, though, I feel like. Not like, not kid, but like yeah, when I was I younger, you like, it's different, though, because like, I didn't have a lot of on my mind, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? I, I, didn't, I didn't have like all the I know to think about. Mm -hmm. so when I was younger, it was just kind of just like, whatever. Eventually, however, he came to recognize that taking too much of that stuff would make him tired and extremely lazy. It even began affecting his memory, and Noah's ambitions were far too large to waste that on a life of drugs. So he got control of his habit and began focusing on what he wanted to accomplish. Inspired by some of his favorite artists like Young Thug, Noah first began experimenting with his own music around the age of 15, creating a series of strange and inventive tracks that he would later delete from the internet entirely. In fact, it wouldn't be until his mom turned him on to T-Pain's music that he discovered the one tool in particular that would become his trademark sound. Speaking with El Avanter in early 2018, Noah told them, I started making music eight months ago. I was bad at first, but I found autotune and went with that shit. At this early point in his career, Noah would rap under the handle of Lil Yeet. The origins of this moniker came from combining two words, Yeet and Heat. But really, all Noah was looking to do was find a name that sounded like something else so people would instantly recognize it. I just wanted to do something like one word, I don't know why, mm -hmm. and just make it like, I hear it simple and like something kind of relatable. Like when people hear my name, they feel like they, they already heard of me. Type. Yeah. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but anytime I hear the word yeet, I remember the early 2010s and that viral video of somebody throwing a water bottle across their high school hallway and saying, that empty yeet. And then it kind of became a thing. Hey, Terry, you want some? Yeah, I think there was like a dance where this kid, he would he would pretend he's loading a gun and I'm pretty sure that was the yeet dance. I don't know, crazy to think about the evolution of the word Yeet. Now one of the most popular rappers is named Yeet. Crazy. Let it be, let it be. Y'all got Yeet, Yeet. Jump out, try, put him in a coffin. By 2018, Yeet was dropping his very first mixtape, Deep Blue Strips, and his unique use of autotune would quickly turn heads throughout the rap community, inspiring a number of hip hop heads from Atlanta to reach out to the young artist and offer to help develop the superstar in the waiting. Working with legendary producers like Stream Cut and Danny Wolf, Yeet would cut his teeth into the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, and earn his stripes quickly, becoming one of the most promising acts in the game. Not like I would work with other producers, mm -hmm. like this should be cool. Like I'm working with them now, but it's like. The ones that I'm working with, like that I've been working with, like help me make my sound. You feel me? So it's yeah. like, I don't want to steer away from that and go a different direction than like what I've been doing. And it's just like getting better and better, like, like more, like getting locked in on a you sound. Can from that point forward, Yeet's career would kick into hyperdrive. He'd released three mixtapes in 2019, including Wake Up Call, which would lead to his first music video for Stay Up. Different Creature was the name of his second mixtape, which was a collaborative effort with rapper Sibo 
and Yeet would then end the year by dropping I'm So Me, collaborating with other artists like Wheezy and 1050 in the process. In 2020, Yeet promised his fans that he would deliver different creatures too, but wound up creating two different EPs instead. First came We Us, which was quickly followed up by Hold On. And if you think all of that sounds like a lot of music, then just wait till you hear about his 2021 year. On a series of three mixtapes, two of which included 20 or more tracks, Yeet would drop an absolute barrage of new music. And you must be asking yourself, did any of these tracks pop off? Well, of course, one did. On his second mixtape of the year titled 4L, Yeet would unleash his single called Sorry About That. I really just be living my raps, like, and I just be talking about, like, whatever I'm doing. Going through at the moment? Yeah, just like, all of my music is like that. Like, it's just whatever. Mm. Whatever's on my mind, I don't be writing or none of that shit. I just be freestyling. You, know, you don't, so you're punching in. Always, oh, yes, yeah. This would wind up becoming his very first major viral hit, and also land him on the radar of the folks over at Interscope Records, who would scoop Yeet up just in time to help him release his debut studio album, Up to Me. That project would elevate Yeet's career to a whole other level when the single Get Busy began making waves across social media. It became one of the most popular songs of recent memory on TikTok, and even the Six God himself was dropping bars from it on Instagram. Honestly, there, no disrespect to Yeet, there is he is the last person I ever expected Drake to want to co-sign because there's so many artists out there, right? And, I mean, Drake does have a good ear. He's put on a lot of good artists, but especially after you heard, like, Smiley, you never expect to hear, to hear Yeet. But, I don't know. Maybe that song just hit different. And that song is called Get Busy. As Yeet's fame skyrocketed to new heights, he would continue to release new music. Seriously, this guy's hustle is tireless. Despite releasing over five dozen songs last year alone, he is set to drop his second studio album, currently titled To Alive, in February of 2022. Not only that, but emboldened by his immense success of the last couple years, Yeet is also promising that when his new album does drop, it's going straight to the top of the charts. So what do you guys think? Is Yeet's dominance of the hip-hop game only a matter of time, or did some of y'all think he's overrated? Please be sure to let us know your thoughts down below. As for the rest of Yeet's story, well, that's a video for another time and another place. After all, this is before they were famous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something about one of your favorite rappers. Please be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Clyde Smith and I'll see you guys in another video.